In this video, we'll look at how you can control and grant student access to your courses by publishing your course and by designating start and end dates in the course settings. Publishing your course is not complicated, but it is a very essential part of the process because if you don't publish your course, your students cannot access it. You also cannot message any of your students through the Canvas inbox until your course is published. There are two ways to publish a course. The first is from your Canvas dashboard. You'll notice published courses are shown in the section above unpublished courses. You'll see a publish button on any unpublished Canvas shell. Just click the publish button to publish it. Once the course is published, it will move up into the published section on your dashboard. Another way to publish is to click on the course, which will take you to the course homepage. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a drop down menu under course status that is set to unpublished by default. To publish the course, just click on the drop down menu and select publish. Keep in mind that a published course can only be unpublished again if students have not yet submitted any work. Another way to control when students are given access to your course is to set participation dates through the course settings. In the course settings, scroll down until you see participation. You'll notice that there are already term dates set that control when student access to the course begins and ends. These term dates are set automatically in the system and are controlled by the semester start and end dates that are set in our student information system. You don't have the ability to change the term dates, but you can control your course start and end dates by changing term to course in the participation drop down menu and then adjusting the dates. The checkboxes underneath control whether students can access the course before and after these dates. If you set an upcoming start date, you can go ahead and publish your course if you'd like. Even though it's published, students can't access the course until the start date. One final thing to remember is that when the end date comes, the course will conclude automatically and you will not have the option to change the end date to reopen the course. If you find that you do need to reopen a course after the end date in order to accept late student work or enter grades, you'll need to contact us in eLearning so we can reopen the course for you.